Mars has moved out of the watery sign of Pisces into the sign of Aries. What does that mean? Let's check it out. This is Music in the Stars. Thank you for being here. Okay, Mars represents energy, action, heat, willpower, strength, all of the motive forces that get us moving, get us going. As you may or may not know, all of the inner planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, they represent more of a personal level, more of an individual experience. So anytime they move into a different sign, it does affect us individually. But let's remember, it's different for everyone. It's not the same for every person, depending on where these planets are in your own personal natal chart. So if you would, dig up your natal chart, check out where these planets are. In particular, check out where Mars is right now. So Mars rules the sign of Aries. Again, this is your willpower, your strength. All these planets represent the archetypal forces that we all share within the life experience. Mars represents our will, our strength, our assertive nature. Again, that motive force that gets us going. It's now in the sign of Aries, the sign that it rules. This is a fantastic time to get things completed, get things done. The energy of Mars is now on fire and moving hot. Apply that, apply that in your life wherever you want. In the tarot, Mars is ruled by the tower card. It shows a lightning bolt of God force energy smacking the tower of illusion, crumbling it to the ground. That is the energy of Mars. That is the force of nature that destroys, yet through that destruction, we have an opportunity to grow, to raise in the compost of what it is that we destroy. Sounds a bit negative. I don't mean it to. Mars energy is the warrior. It's, it's the battle. It does rule things like war. It rules things like injury. It rules things like force and, and direct hits, but it's that strength when guided, when put and motivated and expressed in the right way that can create such beautiful, huge change. It is the changing force, literally, that makes things happen. Relate that to Aries, okay? It's going to be aggressive, vigorous, um, ardent, impulsive, it moves fast. Aries being the first sign of the zodiac gives it that spark, gives it that energy. Again, what happens in springtime, first sign of the zodiac, Aries season kicks in, plants sprout, they actually push through and reach for the sun. That's pretty much the energy happening now through Mars. The energy of Mars is now pushing through any sort of calcification, any sort of like crust or a shell and breaking out, giving you the energetic opportunity to complete tasks, the energetic opportunity to start new beginnings, new tasks. Again, Aries being the first sign, Aries often represents new beginnings. In the tarot, it is ruled by the emperor. The emperor oversees his domain. He looks into the distance, making sure that his constitution is being upheld. The emperor is the ruler of his own world. Mars in Aries makes you the ruler of your own world with the ability to take action. But let's review. Again, this changes person by person, depending on where our own Mars is in our charts, what sign it's in. So when you dig up your chart, when you pull it up, see if there are any aspects, see if there are conjunctions happening, see if there are squares or trines, that's gonna define what energy may be coming through you at this time. It's worth mentioning that it's also conjunct Neptune. Neptune, however, is in Pisces that Mars just came out of, but nonetheless, the energy are working together. And this is something that's interesting. Anytime an outer planet is conjunct an inner planet, it has much more of a potent effect. Neptune, the power to dream, the power to vision, the power to contemplate and construct through the visionary experience 
one's own life and one's own dreams and how to activate them. It's in the sign of Pisces right now, which is the sign that it rules. And so Neptune is, a, is very active right now. And so Mars being conjunct, Neptune, Mars and Aries, again, the sign that it rules, working together, we can activate and motivate our dreams, our visions. A potent time for manifestation if we choose it. But again, don't forget, we have to look at our own charts. We have to understand our own astrological signature, our own astrological makeup in order for this to be fully effective, in order for this to be fully utilized and used by our own knowledge of who we are through the astrological makeup. So please, again, do that. Check out your chart. See where Neptune is. See where Mars is. See if there are any aspects moving between them. See how that energetically may or may not be affecting you and then use it accordingly. Energize those dreams. Get in there. Use this fire of Mars to activate. Spark the imagination. Express the imagination. Mars, again, action, vigorous action, willpower, strength. It's all for you right now. You have an opportunity to do it. So step into your dreams. Don't doubt it. Believe in your dreams. Believe in who you are. Activate it. See what manifests. I'm excited about this. You might be able to tell. I'm a little energized and excited about this. I actually have Mars in Aries. So this is my Mars, so to speak. So I am definitely going to do my best to show up with that energy, activate my dreams, and keep it moving. And I really want you to do the same because I fully believe when we activate our truths, we activate our dreams, and we live our true sense of purpose and meaning. It changes the whole game. changes everything. I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for taking the time to listen to what I have to say about this. Um, please subscribe to my channel below. If you haven't already, ring the bell. You'll always be um, getting messages about what videos are released, what updates coming up next. is going to be a video, a guided meditation on the High Priestess and how you can dig deeper into your own subconscious to help your manifestation process, which is actually perfect right now with this conjunction Mars-Neptune, activating the subconscious dream realms to bring it into fruition, to bring it into life. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you then.